commands at all times. Most of all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. On ESPN, round number one scheduled for 10. The fight, we'll see if he can be disciplined to do that. Yeah, Nelson has more dimension. Difficult to do when he's got a fighter's mentality the way that he does. Yep. Steven, he can maintain outside like he's doing right now. Beautiful right That he was scheduled to fight in December. He said, listen, I know it was Christmas time. It was the confidence. I just hope that they like, you know. The more he gets hit, the more aggressive he becomes. A fight with Killich, he's a, he's a straightforward fighter. You know, it's interesting you did things where you very much understand this is a got to deal with an in-ring death that year. too but he, he kept saying i don't happen in boxing especially considering who his trainer is buddy mcgurk who nelson has the heart that he has he said i have no feet nelson looking for the counter opportunist round nelson 15 and 0 with 1275 pounds the winner of that fight tonight winner of that fight and you look at the landscape at, to have an opportunity and fight for a vacant title. Round two between Nelson and Killich. I think Steven Nelson is doing it all right now. He's leading the totality of his career. Not a lot of good names on that record. Good fight. Fought some good fights, but he hasn't really fought a lot of good fighters. Last fight was a decent fight. Tough. And I'm trying to wonder if he's not warmed up. There was a nice little left hook for Killich. And there's a straight right hand as Nelson... Oh, Nelson with Jim Kelich is the son of a nice Turkish <laughs> middleweight. It's possible. Kelich checked in just under 168. Came in at one. Remember, we told you, Steve, how that all began here at the end of round number two. We visit with Mark Krieg. It is fascinating to consider. What has developed? And now elite fighters are heading there. But that's Just what a Nelson, who is a homegrown guy now at 15 and 0. To the fighter meeting, talking about, oh, I sparred this guy, I sparred this guy. Shane Mosey, Earl Spence, Jamel, gather some knowledge sparring these guys. It's just a sparring partner mentality to me, man. He looks like a sparring. Nelson is going to move away. Nelson attacks. When he thinks Nelson is going to attack, he moves away. First, I want to check in with Bernardo Asuna, who was listening into the corner of Killich and training. He looks on the outside. I'll just put it like that. So I think that's the gist of what. And right. So Killich needs to keep the hands up so he's effective. We can't jab to the body because he's really good. Fire it. Nelson gave you good work in camp. How far removed? Simply put, Joe, I think the eventual Olympian, Marcus Brown, in the finals of, of what will be an extremely busy boxing action as well, headlined by Eladir Alvarez. Showdown Wilder, Fury 2. We will have new 20, whether it's uh, the news of Josh Taylor signing with top rank, which really... Even Nelson landed a sneaky left uppercut to the body of Killich camp. You know, a lot of times when you attack now with Nelson there oh, it there is, it is. There, there it is, is right that mindset though of the way to respond by going He's trying to chop down that time for a moment you see his tongue hanging out there yeah, it's, it's a bad idea you get hit with a good shot you're gonna break that jaw you mentioned fighting with a broken jaw title fight that is Joe Smith jr. from Long Island will be Oh, what an uppercut that time from Nelson. Good. Including that left uppercut at the end of the round. Both guys right in front of him, in front of each other right there. Nelson, oh, that body shot, leaves himself exposed and gets hit with this clean uppercut. Side here in round five as Killich trying to get to that close range. Telling Chef Killich, you have to go. And this is exactly the fight Bo Mack does not want. No a shortage of boxing descriptives out of Bo Mack, Brian Mack. I don't mind Nelson staying there. There's that other again. Joe. Clean sweep early on for Nelson. Easy to score. 40 left wrist of Killich. Let's take a look at. <laughs> Referee oh, David Fields. His feet have not moved. He's using Killich's. A lot of good work from Stephen Nelson with the left hand. The Brian corner of left hands. Jab, left hook, and the uppercut. They went the whole 60 seconds, and Buddy, being the veteran he is, gets an extra 10. Ball cut above the left brow of Stephen Nelson. That was from it. And back up what you told us in the fighter meeting and go for broke. 
Couple times. Let's go. He can't be afraid of getting hit because yep. being on the outside, he's getting hit any scorecard and with the CompuBox mm. punch stats as well. <laughs> Almost a 100. No one likes to get hit down to the body. It weakens your opponent. Well, they're right on the belt line. But that's how you tame your opponent. You dig them in this, but some guys can take shots to the head all night long, but you start type of fighter. And every time Nelson goes to the body, you see Killich take a, take a, you know, you see the, the left eye of Killich starting to swell. The heart that he had, and we need to see some of that on display right now. Killich has been a sparring partner. He's been with Kodo and Bozdick and Kovalev before it. He just need, he's getting in range, but he needs to let his hands go. Apps go. Takes advantage of those opportunities. The 14 and 0 German, but LA based. That's still to come. Will be our light heavyweight showdown between Jesse Hart for this main event. Still to come your way. Plus, in a moment, we Hart, who has grown up idolizing his fellow Philly. The knee. You cannot lean forward over your front knee if you know Nelson to line him up with the right. The right uppercut. Boy, I like the right uppercut. Killich's head has been the golf ball, just like that. Look at that. Well, he's getting good advice from his corner. He just has to listen to it. Ask me, what do I do? So I'm at the point now I'm keeping it. What can he do to change and stem the tide? Five, six rounds down. You can't try to send out box the guy. The guy's catching him. Sustained damage being done to his fighter. He's throwing one punch at a time. He's throwing arm punches. Killich is. To the body, it's a different reaction than when he gets hit to the head. That's invisible. And it's had a lot of sustained punishment, far worse than what you're seeing. The tortures of that really bad habit. I mean, if he gets hit at the right point, the killer just not putting him in that position tonight because he's not throwing enough. But he can do what he wants to do. The guy's reputation and how he fought. Killich is in, and you try to get a stoppage. He's going for it right now. To the top, and then the combination with the body work. Well placed, and Buddy McGirt's going to come up to the apron after that big right hand and wave this off, and it's going to be a TKO victory for Steve. Right hand, and then he ate another, and Buddy McGirt says... One, four, four. Here we see Steven Nelson comes up with a massive right hand to the eye. Impressive showing from Steven Nelson.